Hey, Drake here, recording on surprisingly HD because I'm in the process of breaking my computer down with no success. I should because I just upgraded the monitor and everything, yeah. Uh, it's getting kind of annoying because now I'm back at this office. As you can see, I've got my dirt collection. I probably got to move that. I'm actually thinking of just packing that up. Let me just give you a quick tour because I'm probably going to be taking the entire office down next week. This is not turning good for me. Every time I finally get some time to get back to my normal work of upgrading hardware, building stable systems, and boom, now I get a message that company wants to move the entire office. But for short notice, we've got a new employee that they've got to get her her own room, which is funny because Navid's office has almost nothing in it. So I am now kind of in a depression state because I don't like moving because you forget where everything is at. And then when you, the only option I have now is to put in storage and I hate to say it, I'm gonna have to pay for storage. This is why I don't like California. Oh, not, not to mention just storage, I probably will have to pay for higher insurance, a huge premium, because I usually insure about $10,000. Because ever since my house issue I had in my robbery, I've now learned that insurance is the only one who can back me up now. So I'm learning to do a lot of that right now. And I've got to call, make some more phone calls for insurances on Monday too as well. Because I need to back myself up with a general liability insurance because I'm actually a technician. And I could break things when I'm fixing things. And I get tired just like my friend had that problem. I'm going to have to deal with it that way. Because today I've been realizing a lot of people have secrets. You don't know what they are, but you can tell based on the, the language and posture and the response on the text boy i was surprised that the boss didn't care that the replacement hardware for the fire alarm system the security system we spent i'm gonna say close to twenty thousand dollars plus several weeks of installation throw it all away sell it to the customer i don't know whatever he's going to do with it i don't care anymore because it's not my freaking property and this is what ticks me off now so I'm going to be having to move. Let me give you a quick tour because I keep talking. There's my 3D printer. I don't know. He'll probably move to the new office. Here's the shelf I have. I'm going to be moving all of that. I blocked the windows off to try to isolate noise, not to block light so much, but it ended up blocking light. My file, my big cabinets I have that I put together all myself one day. Oops. I'm actually in the process of getting my computer and trying not to, uh, my 10 year old computer rig, gaming rig, which I'm actually doing a quick rebuild trying to not spend any money on it as well because it's got pretty well top of the line hardware that hasn't been used for 10 years so i'm sure it'll make a good desktop at the house so i'm going to go move that to the house tonight the desktop over there is going to be taken down i need to take the motherboard out i have there's a lot of problems with the hardware it freezes i had blue screens my best thing to do is just junk it uh probably tuesday night or tomorrow night is my schedule to try to get that done the new laptop is over there that's going to replace all of that. I was planning to do it next weekend, so I'll see what I can get done this weekend because now I have another crisis to deal with. This is what I freaking hate about fucking SoCal. You can't spend a day or a weekend just to relax. So, yeah, I got that table to move over there. Um, some of that stuff I just got to take down, the wall mount stuff. I had a lot more stuff in the other office, but it was actually squished down so well that you couldn't see it. So I've got cubby holes. And hopefully I can get some of those uh, statues back into their boxes. I saved a lot of boxes here. So if my friend could help me that day and had with two brains working on this problem, my goal is to probably package stuff and just put as much in the storage as I can. I've got no room at the house right now. I just got kicked out of the garage, so I'm literally on three people's leashes now, and I really hate that. This is the reason why I bought that mobile home and didn't realize you get fucked by illegals. Illegals fuck you over if they thinking you're being trying to be independent. So this is what pisses me off so much is that uh, I may have to be forced to move regardless. So I got to go through all that stuff, those security cams and stuff are all the new platform system. We're moving away from the GeoVision platform. They were the most expensive cameras, but seeing the fact the 720 was top notch back in 2010 and they're still running better than the majority of the cameras I buy at the store over 10, 10, 10 years, they were worth every penny. 
because they lasted way longer Taiwanese technology and I used to be in the spy gear and all that stuff so some hardware I got to clean up um, some tables I got to move to the other side the tables and stuff are not that hard but as you can see this is my office which locks down all the way with a digital keypad if I move over here to the other office I'm going to show you a quick a quick five second tour of my other office here this is my assistant's office as you can see it's pretty Blaine boring the lights are horrible not even bright enough for my eyes actually my eyes have gotten better so i'm going to take that as an advantage but yeah there's a bunch of junk the other door i'm going to have to lock up um i hate to say do i need to get permission but i'm probably going to put one of these giant file cabinets over there and see if i can get two of them ordered just to replace it and just to move new ones here i might even just order some metal shelves and just go to walmart and pick them up because walmart should have this Husky shelves are actually pretty nice, surprisingly, for a store that sells cheap stuff. You just put a huge shelf, cover this over, and then let's call it a day. Because then I can actually just take this table and slide it up forward just enough to make a little workspace back there, which is probably what I should just get instead. Um, isolating the room is a bit tricky. It is a quieter room, so there is a plus, so I'm going to take advantage of that. And it's about a 50 feet closer to the server, so this gives me the opportunity to run fiber trucks. So probably sometime in a month or so, I will drop a fiber trunk from here to the server. Uh, but now my assistant says he doesn't want to run all the servers on fiber. I'm like, well, we just spent three grand of hardware in the server rack so we can back up much quicker. And now it's a no, 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 no. This is what I really hate about people. It's like, do you want to go forward or do you not want to go forward? If you want to go forward, we need to do it. If we don't want to go forward, I don't like open projects. I will close projects and I'm refusing a lot of new projects unless that project yields $3,000 or more a month because I am not dealing with this bullshit anymore with people because I'm getting sick and tired of a lot of stuff. People tell me one and do the other. Tell me one and do the other. So I got some more hardware I got to clean up. We got some old scanners down there that I, that I think is going to go to the junk pile, but my, that's my biggest five second uh, quick tour of the shop and area space so yeah freaking idiots but yeah the pop-up jack is a pain in the ass so you spill coffee on that thing and you get electrocuted gotta love them yeah you have 120 volts live on those pop-up right next to the ethernet jack and if not they're probably shorting it sometimes but anyhow i did put wireless in, in my office we just put a wireless access point outside so that's close enough to here so this this is this office is covered really it's not a big deal but I'll have to break down my office, but I'll probably have to leave some gear in there. So I'm hoping next week to clear the table and stuff. The table is not movable. Well, you can see why it's not movable because there's actually a, a floor change that we had a few years ago when they put new carpet in five years ago. So I hate to say, I just don't like this type of setup at all. I prefer like a shop where 10, 20 years down the road, when you get into retirement, it's still the same thing. You just take a little at a time and move and such and such. That's how you build your assets. See, my world, assets, is what defines you. Stuff you've seen for many years and things that could actually really be a milestone, a memorabilia of your life that says, oh yeah, like this This has no use at all for wire wrapping, but there's a nice little thing of a wire wrap module that I'm only keeping because it was cool. I actually, somewhere around the line, I even had in that box might even be some really old buttons and control panels that came from our old elevator that they don't use anymore which is resistive logic which was pretty cool actually at the time yes it was dusty but that thing was rock solid and lasted several decades so the new system is the only benefit is that if it does get into where you get stuck in the elevator it has its recall mode that either a reboot or whatever it is will always bring it back to the first floor so it's got a recall mode and you know it's this these new features sometimes they're better sometimes they're not I understand, but without getting into too much crap that I have here, this just puts it in perspective where ah, priorities, priorities. I so much hate California because I can't even concentrate. So I guess if this office was supposed to be a, for, for, for an HR person that needs quiet while they're working, you ain't going to find it. So this is one of the most loudest office actually. But I'm fairly certain because they never upgraded my glass. I put in new lights in about a, two weeks ago, about a month ago, because half the bulbs were burned out in here. So I special ordered the lamps and just replaced them real fast. Seeing that all those things that I had to do myself, 
this is the problem I have at the company half the time is that he only gets help from me from things that I don't really need help in. Well, like when I patch cable down and all that's, oh no, you can get a guy to do it. I says, no, no, no. Patching cable is something I do because it's something I enjoy doing. Something I don't enjoy doing is having to memorize new things that have no portraying in my future life. I can't you know, learn something out of it. If I had learned programming, like SQL, for here's the book, by the way, and I just found it. This is actually what got me into programming here at Orbit. It's called SQL O'Reilly. I think it's uh, Jonathan Gimmick's A Guide to SQL Usage. It's not exactly the SQL that we're using, but it's close enough that if you read through the books and the guide, you actually can pick up quite a bit. So there's plenty of other books I have down there somewhere, and I've got my old college books and high school books too I'm going through. But like I said, the biggest problem is I just moved out of the other office this year. I'm just finally going through some of the tech junk and e-waste. That's why there's a huge pile here. And this happens. Not what I was expecting because they just sold the Tennessee lease and we've got our gear that back backhoes there. So they want to be completely isolated off. Fine. We need to order new hardware and we need to make sure all the hardware is available in the new building and all the internet trunks back to here because that's where we're doing all of our processing. But however this is going, I, I don't like it one bit. I have a bad vibe on it that something is up. And it's not something that I actually like doing. This is not like 2012 when the vibe was bad, but I got into an accident and it took about a year to get over that. Now I got my accident, so that's finally hopefully gone. Hopefully AAA is completely taken care of it. They never really send you a final. We're done with the case. They just stop talking to you. So now I'm beginning to learn how society is really ran. Society is not run by smart people. It's not run by people who actually start, finish, end. Start, finish, end. So when I say I'm done with things, I'm now literally, I don't want to fucking deal with it anymore because I'm pretty much at the age now where either A, I really need my own shop. B, I need my own place to, to, to be creative now because Anywhere else you'd be creative in, you're not really helping yourself. This is the same with a lot of the artists I've run into now that even though they're probably one of the best artists I've ever ran into, they won't work with me. Simple as that. So if it comes to a point now where I, uh, I hate to say, take, take, my, take my work elsewhere, it's hard to say. When you say you have a wealth of knowledge, which is a great asset, but you can't sell it. It's stuck with you, whether you like it or not, whether it's something you learn that you unlearn, you can never unlearn. This is like people with PTSD from the army to someone like me who created so many things and, and when I catch something that's not good looking, I now have to shut up about it. I can't say, you did the barcode wrong because you didn't go through me. It's like when you implement a system, it didn't work because you didn't go through me. And it's like simply to the put, there, IQ plays a role and intelligence and figuring something out, but does not play a role in being a millionaire at all. As a matter of fact, the younger generations that are millionaires and enjoying life don't even care if the gas price doubles. Now the gas price doubles on me. I have zero interest in putting any Patreons or donation. Heck, I don't even want to give more than 10% tips if I can avoid it because everybody paying 10% in tax. Because that's pretty easy how you just take the tax and figure out the tips. That's the problem about the credit card processors. They apply 10% after the tips, so you actually add another percentage on top of that, which is what I really hate. I just want to get a raw number. I see the subtotals, or I, better yet, I just take the tax and look at that and just use that number as 10%. So don't complain if I give you little to no tip, or I prefer to get around the tip by just doing a pickup order and going eat in my car. Because I ain't, I ain't paying for any of that shit anymore. I am sick and tired of this state. This state fucked me over and as much as I try to make do with everything, from day one, if you said saw videos of my lab, you could see much of a change in my action and I really hate, hate, hate California with a passion. I'm only here to get my worth back. That's all it is now. And if, if someone, I'm not taking any school, Heck, if someone's willing to pay for my school, maybe education is free, maybe I'll go take a school in Florida and go buy a house there. But I'm now being very, very, 
very protective of my assets now. I literally will kill anyone if they fuck me over now. I'm getting sick and tired of this.